Hi guys, I'm June. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Are you tired of running out of storage on your iPhone while trying to capture those high resolution photos or 4K videos? And to top of it, your iCloud storage is already full, leaving you with no space to store your precious memories. Unlike Android phones, the iPhone does not support memory card insertion or storage expansion. It can be frustrating and intimidating. Well, worry no more. In this video, I will show you a simple wireless method to transfer your iPhone's file to your computer like photos, videos, documents, or even music, and also from your computer to your iPhone without using any cables, application, or iTunes. But before we dive into the solution, let's take a moment to understand the problem. Losing your photos and videos can be heartbreaking, especially when they capture significant moments in your life. Not having enough storage to keep them safe can lead to anxiety and stress. This is where things get complicated. You start deleting old photos or videos to make room for new ones, but what about those precious memories that you have already captured? Are you willing to delete them to make space for new ones? Don't worry, I have a solution that does not involve deleting anything. We will not purchase any cloud storage because it may be expensive and require you to pay additional costs. You might not even recognize you need the storage until it's right in front of you. Let's move on to the solution. Say goodbye to storage issues with the wireless file transmission method. And the greatest part is not difficult at all. All you have to do is follow the easy steps I will show you in this video. First, we're going to create a new local account on your Windows PC. To do that, go down to the Start menu and then type in CMD for Command Prompt. Here, you will see Command Prompt as the best match. Select Run as Administrator. This now opens up Command Prompt. And to create a new local account, let's type in Net User and then Quotes and here, we can type in the user, for this my user is going to be called iPhone Transfer. Then I'll close the quotes. Next, we need to enter a password for this user. And just for simplicity, I'll type in 0, 0, 0. But I would recommend choosing password a more difficult than that. Then close the quotes and next, insert a forward slash and then type in add. Once again, this will add a new local account. Then hit enter. And here we can see that we have successfully created a new local user account. If you want to delete this account later on, you can type in the same command. You just need to delete this portion of the command, type in a forward slash and then type in delete. And then that will delete the local user account. Now, of course, we need that local user account. I will add that user account once again. Next, we need to create a shared folder that your iPhone can access in your desktop. But you can set this up anywhere on your PC. Here, I'll right click, go down to new, and then I'll select folder. And for a name, I'll simply type in iPhone transfer. Now that we've set up our new folder, we need to set our permissions so that new user account that we just added can access this. Let's right click on that folder and then select properties. Within properties, go up to the top tabs and let's click on the second one called sharing right here. Let's click on the share button here. We can choose people to share this folder with. Let's click on this drop down and then select the new account that I just added. I added an account called iPhone Transfer and then click on add. And for the permission level, let's set it to read and write. Then click on share then click on done. And next, click on advanced sharing. And here, let's check the box next to share this folder. 
Down below, let's click into permissions. And here, let's click on add. And here, let's now type in the new user account that I just added. Mine is called iPhone Transfer. I will type that in, then click on check names, then click on, then click on OK. And here for the permissions, let's give it full control. This will allow you to not only pull files from your PC to your iPhone, but you will also be able to write files from your iPhone to your PC. Let's now click on apply and then click on OK. Click on apply and then click on OK. And we can now close this out now that we've set up a shared folders and we've set the permissions. And last, we need to get the IP address of your computer on the local network. This way, we can connect the iPhone to your computer to find out what your IP address is. Type in ipconfig, then enter the vertical character, and then type in find. Open codes and then type in ipv4. And then close your codes and hit enter. And that will show you what your computer's address is in your local network. Make note of that address. And let's now move over to your iPhone. On your iPhone, let's now click into the Files app. You should see an app that has an app icon that looks like this. Once you open up the app, in the top right hand corner, let's click on the ellipse. And in this menu, let's click on the second option that says Connect to Server. We're going to connect to my computer. Here it asks you for the server name. And this is where we are going to enter in that IP address that we just saw in command prompt. In my case, it was 192.168.0.190. But you'll likely have a different IP address for your computer. In the top right hand corner, I'll now click on connect. The next screen asks me how I want to connect. I can connect as a guest or a registered user. Let's click on registered user. And right here, I can type in an account name. This is the account that we created at the beginning of this video. My account name is iPhone Transfer. And down here for the password, I'll type in 000. That was the password that I selected earlier. Once you type that in, let's click on next in the top right hand corner and check that out. I am now connected on my iPhone to my PC. And here's that folder that I created on my desktop called iPhone Transfer. I could click on it and right now it's empty because I haven't yet shared any files there. Now that we have established a connection between the iPhone and the PC, we're now ready to transfer files. Let's start by transferring files from iPhone to the PC. Here, I am in the Photos app on my iPhone and I want to share these two photos with my PC. I click on the share icon. If I go all the way to the bottom here, there's the option to save two files. Let's click on. And right here, we see the server that we connected to. Once again, this is my PC's IP address right here. We can place these photos in the iPhone transfer folder. I'll select that. And then in the top right hand corner, I click on save. This is now transferring these photos to my PC. Back on my PC, I click into the transfer folder. And here we see those two pictures from my phone. They've just been transferred wirelessly. Next, we are going to look at how you can transfer files into the other direction from your PC to your iPhone. Here on my desktop, I have a video file that I would like to make available on my iPhone. To do that, simply click on the file and drag and drop it on the new transfer folder here. When I click into the folder here, I can see the video file. Back on your iPhone, let's click into the Files app and within the Files app, let's click on the IP address associated with your computer. And right here, you should once again see that shared folder that we created earlier. I click on iPhone's transfer and right here, we can now see that video file. I click on it and here, I can preview that now on my phone. But 
This video file is not yet on my phone. If I view it now, it simply stream it from my PC to my phone. If I want to save this video file on my phone, in the bottom left hand corner, I click on the share icon. And within this menu, there's the option to save the video. Here, I click on save. And now, I have a copy of this video on my phone. And here now, within the photos app, I can see the video file that I just transferred from my PC to my phone. And now, I have a copy on my phone. It works! And that's it! You can now easily transfer your files wirelessly to your computer for free storage. And now that you've discovered this way, you won't have to live in fear of losing your priceless memories. You can keep them safe without breaking the bank by using this wireless file transfer approach. Try it out today and see what a world of opportunities it opens up for you. And so, if you have any other tips that might be very helpful that I didn't mention, please do comment it down below. So, that is for today. I hope this video helped you. And if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell. I like to see you here more often. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.